Now that you've seen what the autocorrect options do, we need to explore how to potentially turn them off if you don't want them, or undo them after it's done them for you. For example, if we were to start typing a sentence, this is Sunday, and we know that when it finishes that sentence, it's going to change the Sunday's little s to be an uppercase s. If an autocorrect action actually ever carries out something and you don't want it to do that, once you've seen it do it, you can actually undo using the little blue arrow or control Z. So undo and it changes the autocorrect action. So the autocorrect action that Word has carried out is simply another step in the process of actions, so can be undone. So that could save needing to disable an action if it's just for this particular document or just this moment in time that you don't want it to do it. For example, the correction of the double capitals there. Just seeing it do it, undo, will put them back. Obviously it looks crazy, but for some reason I might want it to be capital A, capital N, little case D. So you can undo an autocorrect action, but you're not stuck with it. But obviously, if it's done it and then you've carried on doing other things, the undo steps are going to have to go back through all the things you've done before it gets to that autocorrect step. The other alternative is to actually disable the option that is causing this to occur. And we can do that by going to File, Options, Proofing, and then here's our autocorrect options. So autocorrect options, change how word corrects and formats text as you type. Autocorrect options, show autocorrect options buttons. But these are the steps that get carried out. Correct two initial capitals. So if you don't want it to be doing that, just disable it. Capitalize the first letter of sentences. If you don't want it to be doing that for you, disable it. Capitalize the first letter of table cells. If you don't want it to do that, disable it. Capitalize the names of days. If you don't want to be doing that, disable it. You're not happy about it correcting your caps lock when it thinks you've left the caps lock on, disable it. So each of those actions that Word classes as an autocorrect step can be disabled so that it does not carry it out. Now an alternative to disabling these options, because they are very useful, is to actually add exceptions to these rules. So if I enable all of those again, and then go into the exceptions, you'll see that we can add exceptions for that capitalizing the first letter. And it says don't capitalize after, and it has all of these effectively abbreviations down here, A, B, G, B, BAL, and there's lots of them. They're just listed alphabetically. Now, if there is an abbreviation or a letter or a series of letters that you don't want to be capitalized, then you simply add that to the list by clicking in here, EG, for example, add. And then EG is added into the list, and then it won't capitalize after EG either. Initial caps, we can see there's two exceptions in here. One is IDs, and then one is the one that I've just added in by accident, the AND. Because I undid that initial capital change, what Word did is think, okay, so you want to keep AND, and it's automatically added AND to this list because of this tick here. Automatically add words to this list. Now, if I'm quite commonly undoing this double correction, all of those double corrections are going to go into this list and they'll never be changed again. So that might not be what I want. So I could disable that option to automatically add words to the list. That won't stop me from undoing the autocorrect, but what it will do is not add the word to this list. And then A and D, I can delete. Then there are other corrections and I can say don't correct and I can put in any other double capital word that I don't want it to correct. Or perhaps Sunday in lowercase, I don't want it to correct. I would simply add that in and add, and Sunday in lowercase will then not get changed. So these are the exceptions. Sometimes rather than turn the rule off, you can just add exceptions to the rules. That's okay. So these are the autocorrect options. Turn them off or add exceptions. Then we see the replace text as you type list, which is a really very long list. If you recall from the example, it's where I typed A-M-K-E, Amki, and word changed into make. That's because it's in this list. Wherever it is, all alphabetical. I'm looking for A-M-K-E. There we are, Amki, replaced with make. So all the other items towards the top are all the symbols. Little C for copyright, 
E for Euro, R for Registered, TM for Trademark, and then quite a bash of smileys as well. Now we are going to explore this list here separately and how we can add to it and take away from it. If you suddenly find words being commonly retyped by Word, you might want to remove them from the list. All that we need to explore here is the ability to actually turn this off. So it's just another feature that you can disable. So with the tick gone, none of these items will get replaced in your document. You would need to make sure you spelt them correctly or you inserted the symbols correctly using the insert symbols option for these items here. So that's an option to disable. So all of these autocorrect options can be disabled. If you're not happy with them, you don't want to make use of them. We then say OK to save any changes we might have done in here and then OK on the options to take us back to our document. So those are the options for either disabling the feature in the first place or you can just undo it when it's done it for you. If you're not happy or it's done it wrong or it isn't quite what you meant, undo at the point you see Word carry out the autocorrect option will undo that autocorrect step.